Hello everyone, welcome to Beck's Travel Itinerary. In this video, I will take you with me on a day trip from Hobart to Port Arthur. There will be a suggested day trip itinerary towards the end of this video as well. And I will also link this itinerary in the description box underneath. Please like, comment and subscribe if you like the contents in this video. It was a cold rainy November day. We left Hobart just after breakfast. The drive from Hobart to Port Arthur historic site normally takes around 90 minutes. The drive itself is impressive. You will drive past the beautiful Peat Water Reserve and take a quick glance at its beautiful lagoon and wetlands. There are also endless picture-perfect farmlands and country houses along this drive. Instead of driving directly to the Port Arthur historic site, we took a detour towards Parrots Bay. Just a few hundred meters down Parrots Bay Drive, this beautiful view suddenly appeared in front of our eyes. This is the Tasman Bay National Park Lookout. I have to say, the camera is not doing justice to this stunning view. Not only this place is breathtakingly beautiful, but it's also peaceful, and we were surrounded by the sounds of bird chirping. With ample parking and tables and benches available, this is also the perfect place for a break and a picnic. We continued our journey and headed towards the Tasman's Arch. The Tasman's Arch is a natural bridge carved by the forces of nature. When you are here, just feel the wind and listen to the water gushing through the arch. You will soon become more appreciative of how powerful the nature is. A short walk around the arch took us to the peninsula view. The views from here are magnificent. From here, you can admire the sharp cliffs and large ocean waves of this coastline. By following the circular walk around the Tasman's Arch, we then arrived at the Devil's Kitchen. Devil's Kitchen is a deep trench with steep cliffs. It is another important geological feature of this coastline. After another short drive, we then arrived at the blowhole at Paris Bay. One thing to note is that the tide does affect what can be seen from this blowhole. It is best to go during high tide to avoid disappointment. However, even if you do arrive during low tide, take a short walk from the blowhole to Faux Seal Bay Lookout. You will sure be impressed by the explosive waves and steep cliffs from this lookout. This lookout also provides you another glance of the beautiful Paris Bay. On the way back to Arthur Highway, we drove past Du Town again. It is a quirky little village famous for its Du themed signs. If you look closely, you can find signs such as Dr. Du Leto. Gonna do? Make do. These signs can be found in most of the houses here. Some of them may be harder to spot than others, but it can be such a fun thing to do to just go around and spot all the signs. After detours around Paris Bay, we eventually headed to the Port Arthur historic site. This site is part of the UNESCO 
World Heritage listed Australian convict sites. It is a must visit attraction in Port Arthur. Entry to the historic site requires a ticket, which not only provides you access to this historic site, but also includes entry to the Port Arthur Gallery and a guided walking tour of this historic site, which I found very helpful. The entry ticket to this historic site also includes a 20 minutes harbour cruise, which I highly recommend doing. It will provide you with a different view and perspective of this fascinating place. Our visit to this historic site was eventually completed by a relaxing stroll around this site to view all the beautifully preserved buildings, ruins and gardens. The only regret I had with this trip to Port Arthur was that I was not able to spend more time in the Port Arthur historic site because of its closing time. Since the days are generally quite long during this time in Tasmania, I now wish we visited the historic site first and all other attractions on the way back to Hobart because there were definitely more to explore in this historic site than I had planned time for. Because of this reason, in my suggested Port Arthur day trip itinerary, I do suggest going to Port Arthur historic site first before heading down to Do Town and other attractions. Thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please like, comment and subscribe for more videos.